Hi, Eric Gipo, ericgipo.com, and today I want to share with you the really cold, freezing cold sweat I got last night. I am in this hotel in Metz in France reviewing some gear for, uh, I will show, um, for a company I will show you uh, very soon, okay? But the idea is not this, is how discipline saved me. What I'm going to tell is really, really important. Yes, very important. That could save you too. So let's start. Most people, when they travel or when they speak about backing up their pictures, uh, if they're traveling, the idea is, uh, well, I've got my SD card and maybe I'll check them on my computer and edit a few of them. And then I will make the backup uh, when I come back home uh, on an external drive. Okay. Well, that's wrong. This is wrong. And what I always do when I'm traveling, I make two copies on external hard drive. So yesterday, what did I do? I finished my day of work. I copied to this hard drive, uh, external hard drive, could be SSD, could be hard drive, depends, okay. Then I copied on the second one. And then if I don't need my memory card, I don't format them until I go home. But in this case, this is a CF Express card I don't normally use, but for uh, the camera I'm reviewing right now, it uses it. So I had to format the uh, card because I needed it to carry on uh, working with it, okay? So uh, I had my two copies, happy, okay? So I selected my raw file to uh, go to Lightroom, uh, start to uh, develop them. Then I exported them and then Lightroom said, sorry, but I cannot try to the hard drive. What's wrong? And then my Mac said, uh, you can read the files, you can copy the files, but you cannot read, you cannot write anymore on this hard drive. You need to format it, okay? So I had a drop of sweat here and I said, oh, that's fine, I've got a copy. I've got a copy, Eric, relax. So I could format this hard drive, anyway, I will uh, retire it when I go home, okay? But I could copy it, uh, I could format this hard drive I had that copy and then reinstalled a copy on this and somewhere else also, okay? But that was fine. That was fine. I was saved. Imagine if I had just one copy and instead of... Uh, uh, and then it says I have to format. Where do I place uh, the, the, the file in the meanwhile? Impossible, okay? I don't have any space, okay? So it's important to always have at least two hard drives when you travel. And in this case, I could make the copy. Uh, it could have said also, not just you uh, can read and get copy, but it could have said you cannot do anything. And then I would have lost everything. What I already had on the, my hard drive, I've got other copy in Tenerife, so no, no problem. But while traveling, that's a problem. So it's really important. Don't uh, try playing with the files, all this, before you have at least two copies. I know that some people say, oh yeah, make one copy to hard drive and one to the cloud. Yes, but when you're traveling, sometimes the internet connection is not good enough uh, for saving your files, raw files to the cloud, okay? So always, always, always have at least two copies. Whether you keep your, uh, your, your memory card full, you don't format them, plus hard drive, or two hard drive, um, even best is two hard drive, uh, or SD drive, my external disk, okay? And uh, the, the, the memory card, that would be the ideal solution, okay? Important, don't keep the two drive together, uh, one in, uh, in both bag and you uh, put them in the plane or this. Organize yourself to protect them physically while you're traveling. It's really important. But discipline saved me as always. Okay, let's figure out more things. When I record videos, and many people record videos, very often we plug in the microphone and we feel it's fine because we see the level that I'm moving like this. But then you listen later and the sound is no good. But the thing is simple. Maybe my microphone is not properly connected. And these are the camera microphone that are picking up the sound. Okay. So one tip really easy. You just scratch your microphone without speaking. If it moves this, you know, this is this microphone that is speaking. Okay. P picking up the sound. Okay. Second, uh, Headphone, can be small, big, large, doesn't matter. You check the sound, always. Uh, because sometimes uh, you don't realize uh, some sound you don't actually hear, but it's there, okay? Or something wrong, or level doesn't indicate as you don't check properly, it's over or really under or whatever, okay? Every time, 
I forgot to check things at some problems and sometimes I have them checking okay so I guarantee you must have a lot of discipline with sound always check your microphone is working the level are right always check with the headphone that's the best way not to have problem later always more tips now everything must have a place and everything must be at its place it's really important otherwise you will lose or forget things uh, when i've got my bag i always put the memory card in the same pocket I always put the battery in the same pocket the lens in the same place all this if i've got several bags when i move from back to back i always try to organize the same way this is the only way not to forget and lose things and always organize yourself always uh, if, uh, for example, you uh, empty your memory card, uh, you download it to your computer, after you made the backup all this, don't leave it there on the table. Place it back in the small uh, memory card bag or you place it back, back in your camera. It doesn't matter how you work, but always do the same thing. Always this routine, okay? Otherwise, you will lose it or you will uh, travel 100 kilometers and say, Oh, I forgot the battery. Oh, I forgot the memory card. And this is even worse than losing it because you say, if you lose it or if it breaks, well, it's a pity. But if you forget it on your desk at home, that's horrible. So always think of a place for each thing and place each thing where it has to go. Okay, always, always, always. Otherwise, you will get in trouble. Otherwise, you will lose things or you will forget things when you actually need them, okay? Another thing that is really important, when you go uh, making picture, whether a landscape or a photo shoot with a model, whatever, you start getting your gear out, using it, all this. And when you finish, people normally are well-educated and they say, oh, can, can we help? Well, no, I don't want you to help. You say it in a friendly way, obviously, but why don't you want them to help? Because you don't know if they keep something in the bag or they forget it and you think mm, they kept it in the bag and they think you kept it or they don't even know it was out because they didn't see what you got out of your bag okay so the person that uh, get the things out of the bag is the person that must put them back this is the only way not to forget anything so obviously you think yeah so i have to do everything myself no if you have people who help you maybe they know about the gear so uh if uh, this guy is in charge of the sound gear, for example, for video, this is the same person that will put the sound gear back in the bags or the lighting gear or your camera gear yourself or someone else. But it must be the same person that get things out of the bag that put them back. Otherwise, you will always lose things. Sometimes you have a tripod that is on the floor. It's dark. You don't even see it. That person, th that person thinks you put it back in the car or in the big bag. You have that travel bag or whatever. And uh, you didn't. And you think you did. And at the end, you lose it. Okay? So it's really important. The person that gets things out must put them back. The same person always. Well, it's true that uh, when someone hear this, uh, place things there, do this, this, well, that, they think this guy is a maniac. It must be a horrible person, always uh, telling what you have to do, where to, you have to place things, all this. Now, it's not the way it is. Obviously, it depends how you say it to someone, but uh, this really brings a lot of peace of mind. Uh, if I travel, I know I can check if I've got all my gear, I can check if things are there. It gives me a lot of, uh, yeah, peacefulness. This is really, really, really a nice feeling to know that you're doing the things right. You don't have to worry. The same thing as a surgeon. A surgeon uh, is cutting things and putting a compression things, all this bandage, all this. But someone has a list and writes down. We use this uh, scissor, we use this, we use that. And when the operation is finished, everything must be there. Otherwise, you forgot it in the patient. Okay, so it's really important that someone is checking. Or a plane before uh, taking off. Well, they've made the checklist and uh, the pilot is tranquil. He knows that there is the petrol. He knows that this is fine, that the flaps are working, all this. They've checked everything. And this is the only way to be able after to be uh, more tranquil and concentrate on what you have to do. Okay, so it's not for being a maniac. It's just called organization. And this routine will help you uh, be uh, yeah, easier doing things, uh, more tranquil, better, and uh, most important, you will break and lose less things because you are 
organized okay you will not lose as uh, many pictures you will not lose gear all this so this is really important so i hope you like this this video thank you for watching it if you feel it may interest other people please share it on social networks if you have not done it yet please subscribe to your youtube channel small button down here is a small bell if you click on the bell you will get notified when you upload a new video my website ericgipo.com if you have any question can leave a comment below also leave you links of my gear on amazon links of everything i reviewed by kf concept sandmark and flashes by westcott more affiliated links and also a link to my paypal account in case you wanted to make a donation thank you very much please take care of yourself and see you soon bye